Hey, what's up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma. If you're not new here, then hey, what's up? Today, um, well, not the day I'm filming this, but kind of is it actually? I don't know. Around the time, it will be within a couple of days when this video goes up, will be one year from when I posted my very first vlog. If you haven't seen that, wouldn't wouldn't recommend going to watch it. So anyway, today I thought it would be a fun idea for well, <laughs> for who it applies to. I get a lot of DMs and messages and comments on my photos and videos and everything like that asking for advice on starting a YouTube channel. So I thought that since it's a year since I started my channel, it would be a good sort of point for me to be able to give you guys a little bit of advice if you were thinking about starting your own channel, because I get a lot of people who come up to me, even people that I know, that ask like, hey, like I want to start a YouTube channel, what can I do? Like, what should I do? Where should I start? So I thought I'll collate everything that I've told everyone and just put it all into this video. First things first, everyone who's messaged me or asked me about starting a YouTube channel, I always say to them, the first thing I ever say is, if you want to do it, do it. That was kind of what I did. I wanted to do it and then next thing you know I started a channel and here I am. But make sure if you are starting your channel you have a purpose for it and that your intentions are correct. Like for me my purpose of my channel was I really enjoyed editing, I really enjoyed filming and I wanted to be able to do it more often and I couldn't think of any other way of doing that for a purpose other than YouTube. So I was like hey that matches perfectly with, with what I want to do so that's what I did. One thing I will say is do it because you want to not because your end goal is fame or money or anything like that. I will tell you it takes a lot of effort, a lot of hard work before any of the subscribers, any of the money or anything. Sitting here a year on from my first vlog that I posted, I now have 2,200 subscribers and I can confidently tell you guys that I have not made a single cent and to me that doesn't bother me at all. I mean I'm doing this because I love it, I do it because I enjoy it and like you should see how excited I get when I post a video. And another thing I will say to everyone who is seriously considering it, make sure you go into it wholeheartedly because when you start a YouTube channel, you are quite, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm going to be really brutally honest, you are very vulnerable for bullying. And I don't want that to scare anyone off because to me that wasn't an issue, but people will pick on you, not necessarily bully you, but they will pick on you for it. So if you post a video, I found that they'd make fun of something I did in my video and I'd be like, hey, at least you're watching my video, like cheers for the views, like whatever. And just kind of take like the mickey out of it a little bit. People will be like, oh, how's the YouTube going, blah, 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 but make it in more of a smart remark. If you go into it wholeheartedly and you're really confident with it, people will see that that means a lot to you and they won't be as brutal or as rude towards you and your channel. People do ask me how do I deal with the criticism. I'm very very fortunate in that I don't get a lot of criticism. I mean with more subscribers I have got more criticism but you do build a thick skin very 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 quickly. There will be a few things that do kind of get to you but I mean the positives definitely outweigh the negatives when it comes to YouTube so don't let one person's comment get in the way of what you love to do. This is something I fell into this trap. So if you've been, if you've known me for a while, you know that I got my camera for my birthday and then I started my channel about two weeks later. Wouldn't recommend doing that. I wouldn't recommend getting the equipment before you start your channel because you, it's not necessary. You don't need it. Like you literally don't need it. I mean, I had um, Final Cut Pro for editing other videos and then I was gifted a camera. So I was pretty well set up. But I don't need, I still now, I don't need any of that to make these videos, but I choose to do that for convenience. But don't think, don't let the equipment stop you from starting your channel. I mean, literally all you need is iMovie, which comes with free on all Macs and iPads. Or if you have a Windows computer, Windows Movie Maker. Great software, and then you just need your phone to record. It's not that hard. But one thing I will say when it comes to equipment, make sure audio is clear. And consistent. I mean, I'm not one for having consistent audio. I mean, every now and then I do have to change audio levels with things that are too quiet, things that are too loud, but make sure that it is somewhat consistent the whole way through the video. And make sure that with your um, video, if you are going to be using a phone, like most cameras you won't have a problem with, but if you're using your phone, make sure that it is going to be recording at least 720p because then that's like the HD mark for YouTube. So, I mean, no one wants to watch a video that isn't HD. I mean, Let's be real. Be prepared. If you do start a channel and you do for, do it for, even me for like the videos I made a few months ago, I look back and I cringe. Like yesterday I looked at a video that I filmed. It's no longer on YouTube. The very first video I filmed, but it was never going to be posted. It was just for fun. And it was a playlist video. And oh my gosh, it was, <laughs> I, 
it made me so uncomfortable to watch that's how cringe it was I couldn't deal and I sent it to my friends and they watched it too and they were like oh my gosh Emma that is bad and I was like yeah I know that was literally me 12 months ago but hey we've got over that this is something which I I know it's kind of a weird thing to say but be prepared that you will hit the delete button a lot when you're filming a video there's things that just don't make sense that you will need to cut out and don't feel guilty about that because it's better than putting out a video that isn't going to make sense because that's just confusing for everyone. What I find in videos what you take out is just as important as what you leave in in terms of getting the overall message of the video across to people watching it. Oh my gosh these are literally I'm just basically listing all the traps that I fell into when I started my YouTube but don't waste your time doing what you think is cool or what you think is trendy. Just don't do it. Just don't. Don't do it. Especially like in terms of like branding and your actual videos themselves. Don't copy someone else's branding. Don't rip anyone off. No one likes people who rip off other people's ideas. Not okay. Not cool. I'm not going to sit here and say that I haven't done it because I have. And I regret it. A lot. It's really hard to come up with an original video idea on YouTube. Like I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I've come up with an original idea because I can tell you right now that I haven't. Make sure that your videos have some sort of personal touch to them don't make them all i don't even know how to explain it eh there's a word but you can best believe it's not in my head right now keep your ideas original and keep them you because otherwise it's just gonna take the fun out of it for you and people i don't know when someone's not being themselves it makes it really awkward to watch their videos now this is something that's very dangerous very 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 dangerous don't compare your channel to other people's channels everyone on youtube is at a different level everyone has different opportunities everyone has different things like for me I found myself comparing myself to people that have like a million subscribers. That is ridiculous. Here I am sitting here comparing myself to Hannah Maloche and Simone McCain and all those people who are actually good at YouTube and <laughs> I don't know I just I don't know what made me think that that was a good idea but it wasn't because everybody grows at different rates and everyone's channel grows at different rates and don't compare your level 1 to someone else's level 10 because that just isn't going to work and it's just going to bring you down so don't do that to yourself. Keep your branding simple and consistent between all of your videos. If you've watched my channel regularly you'll notice that I use the same outro, you'll notice I use the same fonts, you'll notice that my thumbnails look somewhat similar and I edit them the same. You'll notice that the colours, the setup, like channel art and profile pictures and stuff, make sure it's all consistent throughout your channel because consistency creates a really good reputable brand for yourself. And don't copy anyone else's branding. Just don't. This is something for people who, if they do, go ahead with their channel. And that is something that I make sure that I do consistently. And that is making sure you interact with your subscribers, whether it be through comments or your other social media or whatever. Make sure you interact with them and make them know that you appreciate them as subscribers. I mean, you guys know that I appreciate you so much for allowing me to use my platform and whatever and that you guys sit down and watch my videos. Like, that actually still baffles me. Like, I, I actually swear YouTube is broken. Like, I don't know why... I don't know. It just amazes me. But make sure that people know that you appreciate them for watching your videos and this oh my gosh this is almost a pet peeve of mine of youtube if you are created don't be the snake that goes around commenting on other youtubers videos going oh my gosh this is such a cool video i'm a small youtuber subscribe to me blah 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 don't be that person oh my gosh that is literally one of my biggest pet peeves i have never done that before when you scroll through the comments section of someone else's videos and you see those sorts of things you that's not something that makes you go oh my gosh i'm gonna subscribe to that person <laughs> don't don't be that person just don't don't do it that is all that i have for this video for you guys if you are wanting to start a youtube channel do it just do it honestly you it is so much fun so I, so much fun and make sure that you keep things consistent if you are going to start it up make sure that you do keep uploading i find that keeping things consistent it really helps you to make sure that your channel keeps going and then you don't get setbacks and whatever so it's pretty cool hopefully you guys took something from this video thank you guys so much for watching if you made this far in the video give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already because we're here for a good time not a long time and i will see you guys next week for yet another video have a good week make someone smile and i'll see you guys later hey, feeling good like I should when in the boat Didn't to know that neighbor sits in and delete that bird when it's done again Let's try it one again Never stress Got that sunshine